be, I'd be freaked out, I'd be honest with you. All right, while that's on, I will show you. All right, this is a large intestine. Oh my God. Okay. Yes, text with that while still beating. All right. All right, underneath the large intestines, you will find the descending colon. All right. Okay. Underneath that, even further to the two sides, are the kidneys. Okay. They're shaped like kidney beans, which is where they get their name from. Yeah. All right, this is the spleen. Kind of hangs on the side. Okay. And this is your other kidney. Where? Oh, right there? Okay. Right here. It's surrounded by fat. I'm going to pick that away, but you pretty much get the idea. Yeah. All right. This is the urinary bladder. This is uh, here. Okay. This here is the stomach. I don't want to be the first one to do it. He's going to get it up. I almost did. Right, this is the five lobes of the liver. Okay. And in here is the gallbladder. Oh, your pancreas is right in back here. Right in the back? All right, yeah, your pancreas is in here. It should be a different color. It's not that well marked on this cat. So then I have to use it in a practical. Okay. It should be. All right. Your gallbladder is this deflated sack right here. <laughs> okay. Sack. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that is your you gallbladder. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's pretty much the internal organs. The internal right. organs aren't that hard. Can you do that for me now? Because they're well defined. Alright, that's cool. Thanks. Alright, can you do that for the rest of us? Alright, doctor. Underneath the small intestine, you can find the large intestine. This is the spleen. Oh. Right here. Should I have one of the bags, please? The urinary bladder is located here. Thanks. The stomach is located right here. Underneath the small intestine, to the left and right, and the lateral sides, we can see a kidney. On both sides, there is a kidney. It's hard to say on this side. I got it. We have the liver, five lobes. Five lobes of liver are right here. Between the lobes of the liver. Is the gallbladder. Their gallbladder is back here. The gallbladder is hard to say. The heart. The pericardium, which doesn't really matter, and the lungs. All that brain you've been downloading. Home. There's only there's only one cat that has actually made this cut, and I guarantee that it's going to be on the practical in some way, shape, or form. So, um, it's on your it's on your terms to know. You have your external oblique right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have your latissimus dorsi right here. Mm -hmm. Just below that, if you notice, I've made a cut here, mm -hmm. and you're not going to see it on the on the tape. But basically, the external oblique runs this way. Below that, there's a series of muscles that run perpendicular to it, which is right here. This is the internal oblique, and then there's a third cut that's even deeper, and that runs in the same direction this way as the external oblique. That's a transverse abdominis. So on a cat, if you see a series of cuts. The first layer is the external oblique, second layer is the internal oblique, the third layer will be the transverse abdominis. Do you have one more time? Yes, sure. External oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis. Okay. I, can't, I can't go immediately, I won't trick you and go from external oblique to transverse abdominis unless, I mean, you have to see the progression of layers so that you can understand what it is. Hmm. Okay. All right? I can't guarantee I'm going to pin both of these, but so long as you see that progression, you'll be able to identify all three. Okay? And I'll clean it up a little bit better than this, but just as long as you know there's three different layers. That's it right here. It's the major jaw opening and closing muscle. And this is the parotid gland. It looks like a fatty mass of tissue. You'll see more of it. I'm just trying to preserve the skin here to keep it dry, but this is it. Okay. That's it.